the boy there's trouble and that's for certain he's on my mind when really he shouldn't be he looked my way one day and took my breath away started me thinking of things that should never be about the boy there's troubling implications and now i'm afraid of looking into his eyes they seem to take control and see into my very soul now that i've done it i wonder if it was wise he crept into a privileged view of all that i keep inside i wonder if i close my eyes and sleep he will come and attract me from the other side about the boy there's trouble and that's for certain and i am about to give him the go ahead he steal away my heart and by the time that we start he'll have me eating every word that i've said fu fe fu fe fu ba du fe fu fe fu ba du fe fu de fu ba du fe fu de ba du de ba so do ba de du ba de fu ba du ba ba da de du de You know he crept into a privileged view of all that I feel inside. I wonder if I close my eyes and sleep, he will try and attract me from the other side. About the boy there's trouble and that's for certain, and I am afraid to give him the go ahead. He steal away my heart and by the time that we start You'll have me eating every word that I've said. He steal away my heart and by the time that we start, have me eating every word that I've said. He'll steal away my heart and by the time that we start, he'll have me eating every word that I've said. Greta, can you tell us a little bit about the history? When did you decide that you're going to sing that you can't live without it? Was it like <laughs> a, a particular period of your life? When did you decide to go with it? Oh, uh, well, okay. So the stock story is this, and it's actually a true story. Um, I was sort of a tomboy growing up. I wasn't into music, wasn't into anything but playing football with my brother, okay. and climbing trees. <laughs> yes, yes. But uh, when I was about 14, uh, There was a guy I had a crush on, and he was in the choir. So I got in the choir, and Thank God. <laughs> so I, joined, I joined the choir, chasing, chasing somebody. Right. I never got anywhere with him, but I did find that I really liked, I, I really liked singing. And my dad, when he knew I was into it, you know, he took me to the used record stores, and we'd paw through the records and find, and he, you know, pull out Anita O'Day and. Dakota Staten and Dinah Washington and Ella Fitzgerald and I take them home and I would just sing along with them. I was in, you know, rock bands, dance bands, cover bands, yeah. heavy metal bands. Yeah. I did everything. I uh, did studio jingle work, you know, all through the 90s, but jazz was always what I most loved. So, yeah. How is it for you and this particular piece? Is it Some story this particular piece, it. this particular yeah, piece, or anything that? Well, I mean, I can focus on this particular mm -hmm. piece. Um, Clipper and I have been songwriting together because we've been a couple for a yeah. number of years. But we've been songwriting together for off and on around 20 years, and uh, and different people write in different ways, and we write in different ways. In in some cases, uh, he'll come up with the bed tracks and chords, and and I'll come up with a melody idea, mm -hmm. and then I'll lay the lyrics in later. Uh, this particular tune, I think, came to me just melody complete while I was walking down at Alpine in West Seattle. I was just taking my usual walk, and I was thinking about like bassy, thinking about some bassy lines, you know, and, and I just snap and stand up, and I went, oh, I like that. And I, you know, I had a little, you know, how we all have recorders in our hands now, and I just started kind of riffing the, the melody to it, and by the time I got up the hill, half an hour later, it was done.
Well, thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, we know you have a gig tonight, so we don't want to take all your time. It's nice to thank see you, you both. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.